we all know what what beauty is and we all know what a good work of art is we know when something has been done as a good craft is but then the papers and the diplomas and the degrees are all academic and very theoretical so like in the university I, I would go to the area of sculpture and I would find a mukamba who carves ebony in a very beautiful way but he's illiterate and he cannot and, and he doesn't have a degree but if he came to my students and taught them how to hold the adze and cut and use it properly and um, know how to sand it and everything as a skill it would be a very useful thing if i was to teach my students i can't teach like he would teach the apprenticeship thing but if i bring him to the university he'll be asked for papers and uh, he will have gone up to start at seven and he has done that thing for over 40 years but that has not been do documented and so my students will lose on his vast knowledge because he cannot be taken into that esoteric environment which is the academia so there is a very big gap and the students actually think that the people in Gekomba who are carving are useless because they have never been to school but that is where everything comes in if you look at the people who have developed a, a good um, cultural or style where you can see this is from a certain place there are people who are faithful with their traditional art styles like in west africa and it has been now uh, made into the academic world and then they have an identity when we teach and we do not include what we hold dear in our society then a lot of people will lose that and unless a student is brave enough to go out there and uh, embrace what he can learn from there then we we will lose a lot of what we hold dear